Hey guys, I welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the office is full, and this is just the ones that I have to work on right now. I have a lot of stuff uh, ready to be working on the basement. Uh, I have a storage on my basement that I can use for all my computers and supplies, and it's a control room that I have with moisture control, specifically for electronics. And I keep the ones that I'm more, you know, I'm working on the day or on the week in here. All right, so this is uh, 2008, uh, yeah, 2008 Nissan Xterra sent to me by Joshua in New York. Uh, his concern is a dead, communication, a dead computer with no communication, no star, no crank, no nothing, right? So, or I, sorry, let me rephrase that because I'm not sure if it cranks or not, but it's a no star, no communication. So I told him, okay, send it over. I will open it up because uh, I'm for these computers, I am, you know, a master. I know how to open it without damaging any of the covers. You will not even notice I was there. Um, but yep, everything is ready to go. I have everything powered up. I got the top down Phoenix connected to the computer and I have a multimeter. Um, so I created a connector from Nissan. This is the original connector. So I created my own connections to my universal uh, test platter for me here. And I have also a wire for the fuel pump relay, which we can see there is not on. And it should have come on when you powered up the computer. This is the fiber reference and sensor ground, and it's only put in 1.8. So definitely we have a problem. And I was trying to ID the computer and nothing happened. So um, right now I have also, in the oscilloscope, I got CAN high, CAN low, and K line. Uh, so I got three wires connected to the DLC here. And you'll see the communication trying to establish communication because it's definitely not going to happen. But the scanner will try to talk. And so I'm going to just show you that here. And you will see on the blue and the, and the red some communication trying to start. And that is just a scanner. Somebody here, somebody here, somebody here, somebody here. Nobody responds. Nobody responds. And that is... Uh, I don't see nothing on the K line. Well, the K line went to 12 volts, which is probably the way it should be. And, and it went low, you see, for a, for a brief of a second. But yeah, we have no communication at all. So yes, Joshua, I'm able to reproduce your concern. So I'm going to start the repairs because I gave him a quote. I'm very familiar with this computer. As I said, as long as it's not completely corroded or burned, which I will open it up. And if it's like that, no charge for the customer, just send it back and whatever the shipping cost is. But yep, he approved the repair, so I'm going to proceed with that and then uh, retest the computer after the repairs. For this, um, I have multiple videos on this computer. Uh, we are uh, replacing the voltage regulator. This voltage regulator here is also in charge of the CAN bus and the K-line communication from here over to the microprocessor and the reason why the computer is not talking is also because the fiber reference is not only for sensors it's also for the computer so this supplies all the voltage rails for the entire computer so i replace these diodes there is a special uh, part in here which is a filter and caps that goes over to the canvas that i always replace i replace the coils and this uh, driver in here which is also part of the voltage regulating area the capacitors, the main capacitors in here, and then these two capacitors in here, and some some dials and filters that are around the voltage regulator. They get damaged when uh, this happens. So yes, uh, uh, let me just proceed with the repairs again. If you want to see all this being removed and everything, just you know go over to. I think I have maybe a playlist. Otherwise, I will create it, and then you can see all that being done. But in this case, I'm just going to repair the computer and then retest. Show the customer that now his computer is working. I have his bin number in here, and then uh, I will check that. Make sure that we read that bin after the repairs. All right. So I'm going to stop the video. I'll be right back. All right, guys, the repairs are completed. Uh, the moment of truth, as I always do. Uh, let me just make sure the scanner is on. I had everything off. Obviously, I wasn't uh, using it. All right, so I keep this paper in here so Joshua knows that that is in, indeed his computer. So I want to focus in here. So as soon as I turn this on, fuel pump should come on and fiber reference should show up. Fuel pump, fiber reference, and CAN bus. Ooh, 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 ooh. And this CAN bus is ECM. So we immediately know that this computer is now 
healthy talking. I can reduce the voltage in here to five volts because it's gun bus, right? So, and we can bring this gun high, gun low down. We will have the, let me change the time to, I want to put like maybe 50 milliseconds, even though gun bus will be just a blurry line in there. Uh, let me go down to like 10 maybe. Yep, that's Dubuque. Okay, so everything is staying on. Let's do an auto scan. Looks like a line is staying high. So it looks like this computer is, is actually communicating in in uh, Canvas 2008. So I just put the K line in there, but yeah, we can sh see the change on on the messages. Okay, that's a, a sound that I like. Um, okay, so C34703. Sorry, not C3, 53473473. A little hard to read these numbers, but those are, that is indeed the B number of the vehicle. And definitely, I want to show this to Joshua. Hey, Joshua, your computer is 100% repaired. I will contact you shortly to collect payment and then send this your way. Uh, for the last uh, part of the video, I just want to show communication established with the actual computer. Um, let me see, manual select, uh, North America, America, Xterra, I think this is an M50 and 2008. Not sure why it's asking me to do all this selection because it should have been automatic, but since there is nothing else connected, so let's do it this way. Now we're going to go enter the ECM and we can see the combos changing when I am establishing communication, which is before it was in a standby, the ECM was there, but now you can see there is actually packages of communication. Again, this is perfect. So at least let's read the data stream. Now I think I will be, um, let me see main signals, see if the battery is in here. Yeah, battery voltage, that's the only one that I have. Uh, so we got 13.4 right now. I'm going to change as I show in another video. Uh, I got to select in here, voltage, and I have to move it over to the digits. So I'm going to bring it down. So we got 13.4 before, and now we got 12.88. Remember, this is not a direct uh, wire over to the scanner, right? So the scanner is connected only talking to the computer via CAN bus. So that voltage message is actually a message. The computer is sending out. This is the voltage I'm receiving. I am here. All right, guys. So again, uh, short video, hopefully, and um, with a lot of good information. Again, if you want to see more of what is internals and everything on this computer, I got plenty of videos. And I don't want to do that in every single video that I do. But, and as you can see, I create my own connectors and everything ready to go. So to make this as quick as possible and be more profitable. But yeah, everything is good and in good working order. This is not, uh, you don't need to program or do anything. This is your original computer. This will be a plug and play. The car will start and run. No questions asked. I mean, this is perfectly. All right, guys, thank you so much for visiting the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like the content, please leave me comments. That really encourage me to even put more I know this is not for everybody, and I wish these will people understand how much information is in here, how important it is to understand these more technicians, car owners, so they can see how much we automotive technicians, diagnosticians can do and help them too. All right, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.